This is Jace Edwards, and here in studio with me, I've got members of the Nevada Storm, as well as the owner and general manager, Aaron Moore. Now, Aaron, before I talk to your players, let's talk about the team dynamic. How many players do you have on the team? Uh, right now on our roster, we have 43. Wow, 43? 43. 43. That is awesome. So you are not in need of players at this time. The, the, the players are there. They're ready to go. Full roster is 45. Of okay. course, I'd like, to, I'd like to have some, you know, more than that. I mean, 50, 55. Of course, you want to have some in case of injuries. Right. Never want to have injuries. But no injuries. what I'm saying is, you know, you always want to have even Gotta practice. Prepare. Practice squad and stuff, yeah. Exactly. Well, and, and, and the practice squad is extremely important, as we all know, uh, through whether it's a uh, high school, college, or professional. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter what the sport is. Your practice squad is extremely important because your A squad is not going to be as good without having a good B squad to back them up. Correct. Okay, so now you've got 43 players right now. Correct. How many returned from last year? 17. So you have got a lot of new blood. Correct. And what is it like dealing with that much new blood? Honestly, with the talent that we've got and the athleticism that we've got from our rookies, yeah, I am extremely impressed. And with the leadership that our vets are showing our rookies, I I cannot be more proud. Awesome. I I am like I'd mentioned before. I I see postseason. Right. You're not, you're not looking. You're not looking right now. You're not looking during season. You're looking at what's going to happen after and what you got coming up in the next five ten years. No, no. I, I'm seeing championship week coming up. <laughs> I, I mean, you're I, looking at that. I, I'm, I'm seeing that already. I mean, I, I know some of my players aren't coming. Some of my vets aren't coming back next year. So I'm having them season my rookies and what positions they can go into you know i see a lot of my rookies coming or a lot of my vets coming back next year but i'm also seeing a lot of these rookies coming back next year so i'm not going to have to have as many rookies next year yeah i am seeing it looking five ten years as a business model down the road and there's a lot of intricacies going on all at the same time but my preseason starts tomorrow all my players know it all my coaches know it I mean, it was, it was rather humorous. I was out in the garage working on my on, on my warboard that had all my players listed, everything. I was catching it up, doing everything, and I get a text from my offensive coordinator going, "What do you think about this person here? What do you?" And I just kind of chuckled at myself and texted him back and said, "You know, this is just kind of hysterical that on New Year's Day you and I are." <laughs> you know, working on this, and then I get a text from my defensive coordinator, you know, and I'm like, so, yeah, it's it's going to be a great year, so. And again, the season doesn't start until April. They're in a new league this year. They're coming back to this league that they're in now, and this league, they are representing all of Nevada, the only full-contact female football team representing Nevada, the Nevada Storm. Check them out online, nevadastormfootball.teampages.com. And you have a few of the players here with us. Can we I meet do. them? Go right ahead. Okay, well, let's start right over here. Go ahead and uh, say your name and what position you are. My name is Melissa Patterson. Um... I play offense, um, play offense on the line. Okay, a guard and tackle. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so so you're kind of like one of those multifaceted players. We can put you in a couple of different slots. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you hope so. Nice. Now, are you a returning player or a rookie? I played two years ago. Okay, so a couple years back, you took a, took a few years off. You're, you're back again. Yes. And what is it like being out there on the field with the fans? You know, what give us give us a little bit of uh, your background there. It's really exciting. I get nervous, and all this time you spent, you know, getting up to the point of a game and. You get out there and it's just overwhelming. You get all the support and you know, and it's great. It's great to have all these people out there supporting us. Now, aside from playing uh, full contact football, uh, what else do you do? I have a family. I have two girls and a husband, so my so time you're a mom. spent. Yes, my oh, time boy. spent with my kids. What do the kids think about mommy uh, going out there and um, knocking some people down? They love it. They <laughs> love it. They actually. I hope that you know. As they get older, they can start getting into football, too. It's nice to show them that I can do it so they can, too, when they get older. Yeah, and the thing is, too, is now we're in, this, we're, we're in a new era, you know, when it comes to, uh, to male-female dominated sports, that now there is no domination. Right. You know, I mean, just like there's, you know, women's basketball, there's women's football. You know, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and meet you over here. What is your name and uh, what position do you play? 
Um, my name is Caitlin Reef, and I play corner and wide receiver. And then this year, hopefully, trying to gear towards safety. So you, so you, you must be fast. Not the fastest. I'm trying to catch up to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got a little bit faster, but um, I got I got a ways to go. Now, and and how many seasons have you played? So this will be my third season. Your third season. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the in the other two seasons. Tell me about the hardest hit you ever got as a wide receiver. Well, we had this play last year. I don't know who made it up. It was a really good play during practice. <laughs> but then when it unfolded in our first game last year, um, I didn't catch the ball. I actually took the snap. I went in motion, took the snap. And this, I don't know, she's a linebacker, DN. She just came right off unblocked, and it was like five, I thought I had concussion. I thought I was knocked out, but I was okay. <laughs> totally got laid out right yeah, down the oh, field. Yeah, for sure. It was embarrassing. <laughs> and what about you? Um, outside of uh, full contact female football, what else do you do? Um, so I work for the Washoe County School District with the awesome. special education program. And then I'm also one of the only female officials in Pop Warner for this area. That is incredible. And by the way, thank you for the work you do with uh, with special needs. Yeah, thank you. Because that is it. one of those jobs that I believe is um, people don't think you know, the educators enough, especially when you're dealing with kids with special needs. So yeah, it's a blessing. So thank you so much. Okay. Now, how about you? What is your name and uh, what position do you do? My name is Shannon Pede and I play outside linebacker, uh, wide receiver, and sometimes corner. Wow. Okay. Okay. So you like, you like to uh, take the hits as well as give them. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Best hit you've ever given. Um, I love to get around the the offensive line and hit get a good sack. So um, there is one that I had that the girl fumbled and um, we got it and returned it for a touchdown. So beautiful. It's always nice. Beautiful. Okay, so now outside of uh, female full contact football, what do you do? Um, I have a full time job and it's in the manufacturing industry. In, nice in Reno. So. Awesome, awesome. Now, okay, one, one last question for all of you. Since, you know, here we are, we are getting into playoffs. I just want to hear them. What are your predictions? Who's going to take the Super Bowl NFL? I got to hear it. Let's start off with the general manager, owner, Aaron Moore. What do you say? I don't care. My bears are gone, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad my coach and my, my, my general manager were fired, so I just hope something happens next year. Okay, so, so for that, I'm going to take your prediction as being Seattle. <laughs> Um, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That's my Nothing about so. the sea chickens, okay? <laughs> okay, how about you? Go ahead. I'm just going down the line. I'm going to say the Cowboys down there for Pete. <laughs> how about you? I'm with you, Jay. Seattle. Seattle, for right sure. there. All repeat. the way, repeat. There we go. Uh, I'm a huge Cowboys fan, so um, we all know that they're going to go. Yeah, right. She wishes. <laughs> you know, I would like to see. I would like to see Seattle and the Cowboys for the division championship. Oh no, we, we're roommates, so the house would be divided for sure. Oh, yeah. that'd be awesome. <laughs> I, I'm coming to your place for the uh, division championship game to watch. And there we have it. The Nevada Storm. They got the season coming up in April. Again, check them out online. NevadaStormFootball.TeamPages.com. And keep in mind, you can become involved with this organization, looking for sponsorship possibilities, also looking for a new home field. Hello, Wolfpack. I'm just throwing that out there, Wolfpack. <laughs> if you have questions, if you have comments, make sure you contact them. NevadaStormFootball.TeamPages.com. Aaron, the players, Nevada Storm, guys, thank you so much. When the season gets going, we want updates. We want to, we want to follow along with what's going on with the drama. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> Hopefully there's none. <laughs> yeah.